Just recently, the question was asked, can I use desktop streaming apps to stream onto Instagram? And the answer, of course, is yes, you can. Let's get into how we can do that. Right now, Instagram Live is freaking amazing, but there's a huge problem. For the longest time, we had to use our cameras built into our phones, meaning if we wanted to go live to Instagram or we wanted to stream anything, we had to use the camera that was on our phones. We couldn't actually go live any other way. But sometimes, going live can be tedious, it can be hard, and it can be frustrating. What if you have bad Wi-Fi? What if you have a long presentation? Or what if you want to even pre-record all this content and share it ahead of time, right? Or if you're like me, you probably want to have a show something that's live on Instagram and people can view this, right? But you might have multiple cameras, you might have multiple angles, or you can insert graphics or slides or PowerPoint presentations. You can have other people come in and sometimes all that stuff is nice to control. Or sometimes it's even nice too to have pre-recorded content. Hey everyone, guess what? I'm gonna play a video for you right now. And then you cut to it, right? All of these features are very advanced, but they don't necessarily work on the built-in camera. This means we have to do things smarter and better, and that's what I'm gonna be showing you here in this video. Let's jump into it. Yellow Duck is definitely the best tool to be able to do this. I love birds. Once you get to this step, congratulations. All of the hard part is done. You've logged in, and you should see these magic little numbers on screen, and that is where all the magic happens. Step two, we have to figure out how we actually wanna send our footage to yellowduck.tv. Because Yellow Duck will take our video and push it to Instagram Live for us, right? It actually emulates Instagram Live, meaning that all we gotta do is send our footage to it, and we should see it pop up on our phone, no problemo. One really popular tool for going live often is called OBS. It's free and what it allows you to do is plug in any kind of video source. You could do cameras, you can do green screens, you can do video, pre-recorded, all sorts of stuff. And once you plug it in, it'll automatically stream it to you for you, right? Once you're inside of OBS, all you gotta do is come down here, click on settings, and then you gotta click on stream. And we're gonna set the service to custom. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our yellow duck, we're gonna copy our URL, we're gonna go over here, we're gonna copy these magic few little numbers and click OK. Now, whatever you play on OBS will show up on your live stream once you hit start streaming. The problem with this, however, is you have to sit all the way for the stream to finish and then you have to click finish stream. For some people, that's not such a big deal and they can totally deal with it. But for me, I have multiple videos that are hour long lengths and quite frankly, I don't wanna sit there and manage this. And sometimes it's nice to be able to schedule my, out my videos ahead of time and then not have to worry about it. I don't have to click start or stop or manage or anything like that. Plus, OBS requires an internet connection. Internet connections mean there's a good chance the video will drop. So instead, it's time to introduce a paid way of doing this. A super quirky and colorful software that I like to use is called Live Pigeon. In fact, the thing I love the most about them is they make this all very, very easy for me, which I love. I'm gonna log into my members area. Once I'm logged into Live Pigeon, I have three choices. I can go live to Facebook, I can go live to YouTube, or I can go live somewhere else. And for this, I'm definitely gonna go live to Instagram somewhere else. Now it's gonna ask me to upload a video, and luckily I have this wonderful meme compilation video that I just came up with. Because the Instagram channel that I run loves to see Instagram content, and I'm gonna feed it to them live. Here's my finished video. It's got kind of an awkward thumbnail, I love it. We're gonna click a little triple dot, we're gonna click go live now, or what's also cool is I can schedule this for later, but I'm gonna go live now, and I'm gonna put in our magical streaming numbers here. Watch this. Click done. Look, 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 look. And just like that, I'm live on Instagram, but wait, I'm actually right here, and my phone is currently totally in use, right? The only thing that I'll mention real quick about this whole thing is that sometimes you'll have trouble watching it on your own account. So instead what I do is I log into another account that I manage and I just tune in from there and then kind of manage and chat with the crowd. Go to your web browser and make sure you get a copy of yellowduck.tv. Once you've downloaded Yellow Duck, you need to keep it running when you're going live. Then you can use a free service like OBS to then totally stream this and get this out. And you can do it in any kind of way you want. Cameras, lights, action, or even with a pre-recorded video queued up in the queue. Or there's the paid way, where you can pay another service or software like what I use with Live Pigeon, and it makes my life 100% easier all the freaking time, plug and play. So I hope this video helped you out a bunch. Let me know down in the comments below if you prefer the free way or the paid way. Both of them have 
different disadvantages and advantages, but in my opinion, it's just super easy to plug and play and then have it be done. In fact, there are download links down below and feel free to click on them, download them, and try them out. I also forgot to mention that Live Pigeon comes with a 14 day trial, so try it out, sign up, and see how well it works for you. Just remember that your phone is vertical and your video might be horizontal, which means what happens with Yellow Duck is it'll actually scale up on it, which means it won't make it as quite nice. If you're looking for the best quality possible, try to film all of your content up and down or vertical, or you can try and edit the video and all you gotta do is rotate the video 90 degrees and get it to rotate up and down. So that way when people are watching, all they've gotta do is turn their devices sideways and then they can watch it all the same. Thank you guys so much for watching. If this video genuinely helped you out and you genuinely got value out of this, please hit the like button. It helps other people be able to find this video and that, that they can stream to Instagram as well. And I'll be catching you live on the next one. Take it easy.